everyone thanks for coming back to my channel to check out another organizational video if you're new here hi my name is Sherry I make all types of videos on my channel I've been enjoying making some organizational videos lately and getting my house organized but I also do shopping hauls and grocery stuff and cleaning and scrapbooking and DIYs all types of things so if you like what you see please consider subscribing to my channel liking this video and sending me a comment thanks so much let's get into the video all right so this is the drawer where I keep my Bath and Body Works wallflowers and also the antibacterial um, hand sanitizers that I like to keep in my purse and things like that so um, I pulled this drawer open and I was like, oh my goodness, I only have four left. I need to order some. So Bath and Body Works was having a sale last weekend and I think the double packs were five for $23. So I went ahead and ordered those. I ordered a bunch and I'm going to be doing a haul here in a minute. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys that the singles have the names of the actual wallflowers on them. And the double packs do not. And I had to figure out a way of how I was going to organize them so that I would know what was what. So these acrylic organizers that you see here, I love acrylic organizers. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you already know that. Um, these I got at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something like that for really cheap, like $5.99 each. And they fit these wallflowers perfectly so I went ahead and used those I actually had them in my scrapbook room I wasn't using them anymore so I repurposed them here and then the one in the back that's holding my antibacterial hand sanitizers um, is actually from a company called art bin and I got that at Joann's it has a, a top that slides open but I don't need the top um, when I'm using it in this way but I also repurposed that for my scrapbook room as well also in this drawer in the back, which you can't really see, I have some old um, hand sanitizers in the old style bottle that I need to use up, some of the holders, and then some of the wallflower plugs that I am not using currently. I have a whole bunch of marble ones around my house right now. And then also in the drawer, I have a two-pack of Twisted Peppermint that I had bought for the Christmas season and I did not use, but it fits perfectly so that... Um, where it's sitting right now, the organizers don't slide all over the place when I open the drawer which is perfect so that's why I'm leaving it there okay so let's get into the haul portion of the video before I start showing you how I put all these away so they were having the double packs 5 for 23 I got coconut lime breeze which I don't think I've purchased before I got tiki beach again I don't think I've ever bought this one either but I was feeling the summer vibes apparently when I was making this order let's focus there we go All right, and then the next one I got was white citrus. I love clean smells, um, so that's one of my favorite ones to get. I also picked up this spring. I'm not a very, like, rose-scented lover, so I'm hoping that that is not going to smell like roses and just more of, like, florals. Okay, so this is my absolute favorite one that I'm obsessed with right now. I don't know why my camera's not focusing, but this one's called Renew and Refresh. They actually have a candle with this now, and I want to get the candle, but that's my favorite one. Those are all over my house right now. I love the smell. I get compliments when, when I have guests. Champagne Toast is another one of my favorites. I have this candle as well. I normally like to burn the same candle that I have um, with wallflowers plugged in around my house or in the particular room. I know this one's an oldie, but I've actually never bought this one before, so I have no idea what it smells like. I just bought it. <laughs> I don't even know why. <laughs> okay, real quick, this is something that is obviously not a wallflower, but it was part of my haul. These were on sale, I think, for eight fifty. They're normally like thirteen or fourteen fifty. Um, it's the aromatherapy line, which I've never really gotten into, but I happened to sample this at the store a couple months ago, and I've had insomnia for a while, and I thought, okay, I'll try this. It's probably a gimmick, but, um, you know, I'll see how it goes. If, at the very least, it's a nice smelling lotion, but I actually put this on before I go to sleep every night, and it really does help me to relax and stay sleeping. I should show you guys my sleep routine that cured my insomnia in another video. Okay, so how I went ahead and um, figured out 
a way to label all of these different wallflowers was that I went ahead and cut the names of the tops of the wallflowers out like so and I made little fishtail banners out of them just because I had to be extra let's focus camera there we go there's a renew and refresh so these will be ultimately re reusable and I didn't have enough of these for every single spot next to every single wallflower but as time goes on now that I'm going to start Organize them, organizing them this way and labeling them this way, um, I will start cutting them out of every um, box that I buy and then I'll just have an extra stash of them. Like you can see right there in the middle, the black tie one. Um, I had an empty box for that and I went ahead and cut the top off and just laid it down there because I don't have any black tie wallflowers right now. Um, but I'll save that for when I repurchase. So there you can see right where I decided to cut the name out is just right on top of the package and it's super easy to do these are just like hard plastic you can just use regular scissors nothing special so I just take them out and put them in the little caddy and then I just um, take some scissors these happen to be scrapbook scissors but the plastic isn't that difficult to cut through and just cut the top off cut it into a little strip I don't even cut the length I just leave the length how it is and then I just trim it down so it's in a straight line. It was really difficult to try to cut this straight in front of the camera so that you could kind of see what I was doing. There we go. And then you can make these as thick as you want. You can keep the Bath & Body Works logo on there however you want. I just preferred them to be this size. And then I just cut a little fishtail banner, which I'm going to show you how to do that. It's super easy. You can do this with ribbon as well but you just cut a little triangle out of the end kind of go diagonal to the middle and then do the same thing on the other side and it creates the little fishtail right there so then I just stuck those down in there next to the scent for was just putting them um, behind the second one so I would know both of those two were the same scent and then like I said once I start buying more and keeping the tops I'll have more and I can stick one of those things in there next to every single one that I have but I am actually very happy with the way that this turned out and getting this all done and everything in one place now I can just grab them and go I know how many I have of each one and I'm very happy with this so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have wallflowers if you love wallflowers too and hand sanitizers from Bath and Body Works I think everybody does right um, let me know how you organize your stash and leave me a comment down below. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!